Hi, Louise from Cute Nick Studio, here to show you this journal I made. It's a junk journal, and it is made with coffee filters. Those of you who drink coffee and use this type of filter, you might recognize it. But it's a cone filter. Yeah, and the entire thing is made from cone filters. I have a dangle hanging down here, and then it says pretty as a, and then there's a butterfly. So it's pretty as a butterfly. Yeah, so um, here we go. I'm going to open it up. Oh, there's a little key charm. Show you some of the things on it. Let's open it up and see. So it's fun. I had a lot of fun making this. Stepped outside of my norm, you know. Um, I, so the, the, the coffee filters themselves are pockets. And um, I glued two together here. Some of them are singles. Uh, I'll do a kind of like a breeze through and then I'll come back and show you what's tucked inside all the little secret tuck spots and it's filled with interesting things that I made yeah all right so let's start at the beginning so in this pocket here I made a little mini journal and this was some music sheet paper that I printed on so it made it pretty. And then here I made a little tuck spot here. And you can use these to journal, like little journaling cards. And then this is like a little notebook. So lots of places to journal. Yeah. All right, so that gets tucked away in here. And let's see what's in here. So here I have a little airmail envelope and inside I have some little script ephemera and you can use the backs to write on that. So other little journaling spots and you can also tuck your own things inside this little envelope. So it's kind of a and you can tuck it anything you want inside these little pockets. So here I have some little um, bags I made as little tuck spots. And then I made these little journaling, kind of like bookmarks, but you can journal on the back. Little key charm here. And they just tuck right in here. And that's a little glassy bag. All decorated. And then here, and you can journal on the backs of those. So there's little tuck spots and then here I have a belly band I made with the little pretty pink flowers and then uh, a junk journaling group I'm in it's called redeemable junk journals and uh, I was given a wish for some junk and this came in it and I just thought it was perfect so it is you know clips these in here this is some music paper and a little heart thing there and this is a little um, envelope I made and there's some stationery in there that I made with coffee dye paper. So it's all vintage, you know. It's really nice. And then a it's from a Tim Holtz um, goodie bag that he has these doodads, and then this is a, a journal card. So that goes. And there, and I clip it in because the, um, and that way it doesn't fall out. And then inside, some more journal cards. And I decorated these, spruced them up, and then you can write on the back. They're cute. And that gets tucked in there. And that's the other side of the music paper one. And I made this little envelope that's attached in here, and there's just a pretty little sparkle. You could draw on the back of that. And that's napkin decoupage. And that goes in there. And then there's some little mortar cards. Pretty Paris music. And then you can draw on the backs of those. So there's lots of little places that you can journal and tuck little things in. Really fun. And here's a postcard. So that's just uh, clipped in there, and then I collaged over this page here. Okay. And in here, 
is another. I, these I made some random coffee dyed pages. So you can journal, use them as journaling pages. And I cut them in the shape of the coffee filter. So you tuck in there. Yeah, you don't have, not everything has to be square or rectangle. Why not have unique shapes? Oh, and this is a little pocket I made. And then this little heart here, I collaged it. And then I put some coffee dyed paper so you can use it as a little journal card as well. Shaped like a heart. Some nice vintage music paper. And in here, this is uh, just some, you know, journaling cards. And then this here I made, like a little card. I decoupaged that. And then you can journal on the inside and the back it up. So that's another little pocket of surprises. This is a triple pocket I made. So back here, I took a guest check and turned it into like a little, and you can journal on that. Yep. So that's cute. And then some more journal cards and I folded them and distressed them, but they're nice and vintage looking. They fit the look and feel. So it's there. And then this is just some fun ephemera, the little bitty ones, you know, but you know, you can journal on them and you can also journal on the back of them and use them as little bookmarks here and there, but that's a triple pocket. So you got three little pockets here. That was fun. I love the way it looks. I'm very happy with that. So they just tuck in there. You can tuck anything you want. A heart pocket. A mini journal that I made. And it has a little mini pocket. And here's some little journaling pages. You can run them on the front and the back of that. Quite a few there. And uh, some coffee dyed paper that you can use to journal in. Lots, so I did a lot of them. And that's a napkin, and I decoupage on that. So there's that, and then I made this little cluster. And this coffee paper here, this coffee filter here, I stenciled over. And inside, I took a playing card, and I made a little mini journal with the playing card. So it was a jack of spades, and I collage over that, and then. Lots of little places to journal. You can even journal on that. It's really fun. So this goes in here. And a um, little lace I turned into a pocket with some journaling co papers, coffee dyed. Kind of fits the theme, you know. I thought coffee dyed for coffee filters makes sense, doesn't it? And this, I, I made these the little button on the flowers. And then this little pocket here made out of this came from an ephemera book I got from that junk journal. It's called Wednesday Wishes. And it came with this book full of these beautiful ephemera pictures. So that's a pretty little pocket. And this is decoupage with napkin, this coffee filter. And in here, another little journal. So I collaged over that. And then it's uh, papers you can journal on. And it's actually put together with uh, washi tape. And I have some ledger paper as well. It's really fun. I love it. Something different. Stepping outside the box here. And that goes in there. And then I have some lace here that I've made a little tag. And the back is, you can journal on that. Pop it in there. And they have these vintage buttons flower and then I made another heart pocket I just it fit really well with the shape and everything and this was a glassine bag that I cut down into an envelope I love it hear that crinkle crinkle and then I have some coffee dye papers in there so you can write little secret notes and that was some paper designer paper that I covered the coffee filter with you know snazzes it up with a lot of different designs and here's some more of the bag and I made it into an envelope, crinkly envelope. We love the crinkle sound. I printed on this bag. I actually ran it through my printer. And then here I've got some 
papers, vintage looking papers, and you can journal in the back of those. So there's that. I print them in the bag, but here I knack and decoupage them and I put the little dictionary joy on there. And then this, these two pages, these are some pockets I made, and this is from that ephemera, garden ephemera book I got from the Wednesday Wishes, and the back is paper you can journal on. I have some scrappy thoughts for some scrappy paper. This is the same thing. I love those. They're so pretty, so vintage, and just lovely colors. It kind of pops out on the page. And that's the end. And it's held together by a ribbon. Um, in here. So I punch those holes and put the ribbon through there. And then it just ties together. So it's fun. I hope you like it. It's something different. And uh, I think I'll make some more. I'm going to do some different, I don't know, different designs. Do some grunge and retro. and Because I have a whole case of these coffee filters. <laughs> and um, my son, our son, he's 15, he makes my own coffee as a espresso machine so he doesn't even use these filters so I had them and I thought what am I going to do with these filters there we go have coffee filters you don't need anymore make a junk journal I hope you like it bye for now